What are you doing? You're not a lord. Hit the ball, boy. That's how Danny talks. He's English. He knows nothing about cricket. Don't worry, Rico. He'll be fine. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Now this time, hit the ball. Here comes the unpleasant bit. Three, two, one. Okay, now, next time, tell him not to wrestle with cars, okay? <laughs> this is my top spinner. <laughs> you don't advertise what you're going to bowl, so get the ball. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I met the great Hansi Cronier? Yes. Now there was a man, eh? Ha! I don't care what they say he did. You know? I shook his hand. Eh? I shook his hand. That was a man, eh? National captain at 21. 68 test appearances. Over 3,700 runs. He was one of the finest cricketers in the did world. You see? What? Stay calm. You know the draw. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on, they wouldn't come near the house at this time of day. They are. Tell her then. Kids, kids, go back inside. That's it, quickly now, but don't run. That's it, go on. All the way back inside. Straight up the steps, through the door, that's it, come on. Let's go. That's it, there we go. Any of your guests are still standing in the morning. My husband will be pleased to take them on a game drive. Test me, Nomza. Big five. There's nothing here. Where is the marquee? Oh, that will be right here. Um, I think he means where is it now? Everything should be in place. Nothing is. It's on its way. Um, Nomsa's cousin's delivering it, isn't he, Nomsa? If he has been paid. We're getting married here tomorrow. I promise you the marquee will be up. In global ubija. I thought you were supposed to be studying. Language lesson. What about the music? Oh, there's a string quartet coming from the city. And the animals? We really want to have our wedding pictures um, taken with the animals. We're only going to do this once, so we need it to be perfect. It will be memorable. I promise you that. <sighs> All right, come on. All right, coast is clear. Come on. OK, kids. Nasty old lion's gone. Now, who wants a cold drink? Straight up the steps. There you go. Come on, kids. A nice cold drink. You know there's all about, don't you? They're hungry and we don't have enough prey animals to feed them. A lovely couple. I really want it to go well for them. Your cousin will turn up when he knocks there. He'll be here. I promise I'll make it up to him. Why do checks bounce? Sarah! Get in the house! Lions!
over the place. Never seen anything like it. I thought lions were afraid of people during the daytime. Ah, well, they lose their fear when they're hungry. There aren't enough prey animals for them. What do I keep saying? We have to get the balance of the animals right before we start putting on weddings. Look, I'm just trying to earn some extra money to pay a few bills around here. Can you do her out after we sorted this out? Danny, you're going to have to go to Tate and buy that buck. No. Danny, he's already told you he's got a surfeit of prey animals. He'll do you a good deal. I don't do business with Tate. There are lions outside. Well, there's always the game auction. Which is too expensive. And... Could somebody tell me why there is a goat in the kitchen? It dislocated its front leg. Well, that is exactly my point. We can't afford to keep doing pro bono work on sick goats. What does pro bono mean? It means doing it for nothing. It was in distress. What was I supposed to do? We have to learn to stand on our own two feet. Danny, there's a truck coming. Who is it? It's the wedding marquee. <laughs> Who's getting out? Iggy! I thought you were too proud to do business with your neighbour. I'm not proud. He just doesn't like you hunting next door to us, nor do I. We've heard a lot more gunfire recently. I'm utilising my resources. A lot of empty rooms are here. There are ways of filling them. Uh, unless you hamstring yourself. They'll never be hunting at Leopard's Den. Good. Look, I'm busy. What do you want? We've had a discrepancy in our prey animals since the anthrax outbreak. I heard that. You should be careful. The big cats will come out of the bush looking for food. <sighs> Already happening. Look, we just need to know what animals you've got spare and what price you want for them. Who's that? A guest. You've probably forgotten what they look like. Look at this. One shot. You were right the first time. I am too proud to do business with the likes of you. Open yet. Sorry. All the exceptions can always be made. I don't understand you. You've been talking about replenishing the prey animals for weeks now, and now you've got a chance to do something about it. You're doing nothing. If I do business with Tate, then I'm complicit in what he does over there. It's rubbish. No, it's not rubbish. If he fails to fill his beds with conventional tourists, he'll fill them with hunters. Is he breaking the law? But Sarah, you're missing the point. We have a big wedding here tomorrow. We can't have lions wandering around eating people. Now you're being ridiculous. Am I? What exactly are you doing? I'm going to give these to the lions as a temporary measure just to keep them away from the house. There's a game auction up near the border. Now, it'll be more expensive than dates. But we should be able to get all the prey animals we need. Thanks, Jupe. 
Danny. Try and think with your head and not with your heart just this once. Your dad's the bunny hugger out at Leopard's Den, eh? The what? Hey, he's a legend around here. If he stepped on an ant, your dad would actually put a little splints in his legs. He's the best vet for a thousand miles, if that's what you mean. No offense. I'm sure he is. <sighs> Another? <sighs> no, I best get home. You went to university in England, eh? That's right. You home for the holidays? Maybe just one for the road. It's a bit smelly, isn't it, Biggie? Maybe a bit. <coughs> the last job, it was at an agricultural show. <coughs> so, there were animals in here. What kind of animals? Mm, pigs. Ew. One, two, three. Oh, Sarah? Yeah? The band for the wedding just found. Not band, no, sir. String quartet. Oh, string quartet. <laughs> they can't make it. What? They had their instruments stolen. I thought it's what I wanted, you know. Back to Bristol. My mates, university. Said my mates had moved on and got boyfriends and talked about bands I'd never heard of. <laughs> and Africa got into your blood. Oh, and he was in this freezing little flat, sharing with these guys that had manners <coughs> of demented warthogs. Hey, warthogs are very good manners, I'll have you know. They made Duplessis look like some sort of courtier. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be pleased to have you home. You don't know my dad. His beloved daughter dropping out of uni. He's gonna murder me. Do you need a lift? No, I'm, I'll walk. Well, maybe just... One more after What? One more coming up? This is Trevenian, is it? Yes. One, two, three, put! So what's this then? The big top? <laughs> we decided to expand into weddings. You can never stand still, you know. I hope you're luckier than we were. We went bust last month. Could I show you something? Yeah. We sold off most of our stock, but I... I was doing a tour of my place for the last time this morning and uh, came across this little guy. Oh, wow. Is he hurt? Just a few old wounds. I've put him on antibiotics. I don't understand why you brought him here. I couldn't get a movement order for him in time. The guy who's bought my place is a cattle farmer. And if he knows that a leper's on my place, he'll shoot it for sure. Look, I'm really sorry, but we don't take strays. Not anymore. No mistake, then. Mum! Evan. Mm. What will you do? You'll have to take his chances with the farmer. I hope it works out for you here, Mrs Trevanian. Thanks. I'm sorry we couldn't be more help. Please, Mum! Absolutely not. Please? No way. Nobody's home. Check out the paperwork, all adds up. 
Small game farm near the border with a bit of overgrazing. It'll look healthy enough. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. She looks pretty good. Yeah. I thought you had too many rhino at Mara as it was. Rhenian, you here to sell of your remaining stock? We're buying. You found some money down the back of the sofa. <laughs> what do you want with an old girl like that? I like older women. You're buying her to hunt. You don't have a permit to hunt rhino. How do you know what permits I have? I make it my duty to know. Don't buy that animal for hunting. I'm warning you. Do we have a problem? Mm -mm. In advance, 990,000 there, lot number 40, a white rhino people, 490 with you, Mr. Tate. Any but the gain, now for 195,000, yeah. For the first time, on 190,000, for the second time, 195,000, yeah, my left hand side with a the gentleman there. 195, come on, people, a beautiful trophy, yeah. At 200 in advance, do I hear any 200,000 here? Stop At 200 with you, sir, gain over 205. You keep At 205 from my left hand side, this gain over 205,000 here. At Today, beautiful, we don't sir. Kind of At 205, yeah, we do. Just let's for the buck. We can't feed our line with an old rhino. Any but the 210 there for Mr. Tate, this gain over I hope you and the rhino will be very happy to get at 215, are you sure you are the 215? It's a beautiful animal. At 215, well done now, for the first time, for the second time, sold to Mr. Tate for a 210,000. <laughs> Entrance. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. Mm. We're going to start with a beautiful herd of wildebeest here. There's about 200 pieces here, people, and we're going to sell them per piece. People are going to start there. At 1,000 rand a head, there's approximately 200 of them. At 1,000, I've got about their game. I'm just about cleans us out. Better than the lion eating the goo. First, in over 1,000, 100 rand now. Any advance by 1,000 there for the first, for the second, at 1,000, 100 rand. I've got about their game over 1,000, 100 rand. It's all done now. Any advance, all done. For the first, for the second, and so the Mr. Tate there for 1,000, 100 rand. You lost it. You lost it. I was out bed in half Because you irritated a snake and he took you down. I told you. I don't want to know. Sarah was right. You thinking about Tate while we're fighting for our survival. But there'll be other auctions. Not for weeks. Meanwhile, we got hungry cats looking for a meal. It's very dangerous, man. What the hell are you going to do about it? Screwed 
up, you face the music. Hi. How'd it go? Good. <laughs> Good. Really interesting. Yeah. Where's the buck? Hello. Hey, honey. I'm home. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> Yes, look, I know. I'm sorry about the cheque. There's, be there's been some sort of uh, mistake with our account. We need the champagne. We've got a wedding reception here tonight. We've been having some cash flow problems. But you promised me. Don't put the phone down. Don't, 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 don't you dare put the phone down. They put the phone down on me. Nothing much has changed then. Why did you get drunk? I did not get drunk. I merely stopped off at Max's bar for some refreshment. <coughs> He's a hunk, isn't he? So, you've got your first wedding tonight. What would happen if the lion ate a guest? Not funny, Evan. We've been having some problems with some unwanted lions around the house. You're kidding? But your dad sorted it. been through here. She's behaving strangely, going around in circles. Yeah, she's trying to give us a slip. She's confused. She's probably smelling the bulls and it's frightening her. It's crack on. Maybe we should give her a couple of days to get acclimatized. She'll be harder to hunt, a bigger prize. I've got a plan to catch and a job to go to. Let's go. Look, I'm not going to charge you Let's for Let's go. Any... So you've dropped out of university, then? Don't say it like that, Dad. It makes me feel like a failure. You know, one of the last things I promised your mother was that you'd get a good education. That is not fair, Dad. You know, maybe they'll take you back again for next year. I'm not going back. You mean at the first sign of difficulty, you run away? I'm not running away. Staying there just to make you happy, that would have been running away. So, remind me again why we're doing this when you've just bought a truckload of wildebeest. Don't change the subject. Dad. Go on, here they come, drive. There's no sign of her. Let's call it a day. But you said she's close. That's what I'm worried about. If we stumble across her in the sort of bush she could... Take us out before we get a shot in. Ah, but that's a thriller, but, you know, when I was in Canada. Quiet. Not a solution, Dad. Just buying a few hours at best. Well, just enough for the wedding reception to take place. Yeah, you hope. Sarah's right. You should have bought the wildebeest from him. Yeah, but I loathe that man and everything he stands for. What is the worst possible outcome for Tate? The the lions are fed and the wedding goes ahead and is a great success. You know, the only time I ever saw my father cry was the day I graduated from university. Give it a rest, Dad. Well, if not university, then what? I don't know yet. I, I thought I could stay here for a bit and think about what I want to do. Is that all right? There's no shame in going back to uni and explaining... Oh, Dad! All right, all right. So, shall we go and buy these wildebeest from Tate? Yeah. I'd better go and jump on my sword first. Around. 
Listen. Let's be cool. Let's be careful. This is dangerous, Bush. Just give me one more shot. Quiet. What? I thought I heard something. We should name him Sydney. Sydney? It suits him. Don't start giving him names. Chances are he won't be with us for long. Not once Danny's fixed him up. We're going to release him back into the wild after the wedding. Sydney. Sid. Don't look at me like that, Nom, sir. This isn't a sentimental act. This is a hard business decision. We promised them photo opportunities. Head, not heart. Exactly. Now, there's nothing we can do about the musicians. We'll have to play some classical music over the speakers. Rosie said the bar's reopened, so maybe we can get some champagne from there. No. No, not the generator! So, I'm going to go. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Sarah, this is to thank Danny for saving the gold. Thank you very much, Nobsa. What's wrong with Sydney? Something's scaring her. of our lives out here and you are determined to screw it up. I am not. I'm trying to do the decent thing. Why did you rile Tate like that? You know what he's like. Because I was angry, because he's trying to make a mockery of everything I believe in. You are obsessed with those animals. It's my job. This family is your job. Guests arriving, food on the table, boring stuff like that. He just didn't think it through, Sarah. Don't fight my battles for me, Rosie. You cannot drop out of uni, arrive here drunk and start giving advice. All right, I'll go to Tate, I'll buy the book. Like you should have done in the first place. And what is that, exactly? A leopard. Thank you. A leopard that will need constant care, expensive medicines, food. What was I supposed to do? He was going to be shot. Well, doesn't that make you a teensy-weensy hypocrite? No, it does not. And anyway, it's academic now. This whole place is infested with starving lions. So I'm going to have to call the whole thing off. I told you, I'm going to take. He's not going to sell to you now. He's got you in the palm of his vindictive little hand. Out the way, damn it! He hasn't got any sinuses since I've been away, has he? I'll see you'd notice. Hey, Trevelyan! Jump in! What's up? State is in trouble. Good. You were right about them hunting that rhino, eh? I told you. Yeah, except they didn't hunt it very well. <laughs> but as he's on the radio, sounds like he's badly hurt. Well, have you called the doctor? You're the nearest one. No, I'm a vet. He's in real trouble. Come on, Danny. I'll need my bag. It's in the bed. I'm coming too. All right, go on.
right, can you clear for me, please? Let me see him. Thank you. All right. Tate. Right, Rosie. I need the green sheet from the bottom of my bag, please. Rosie, come on. I need to put pressure on this. Come on, don't go to sleep. That's it, good girl. Okay, next, in the top part of my bag, there's a small bottle of morphine. Next to it is a syringe. Draw me up two mils, please. Let's loosen this for you. Get you as comfortable as we can. Okay, come on, stay with me. Don't go to sleep now. Hey, you know, maybe you were put on this earth to be a nurse. I don't think so. Well, will you help me? Out here? I can't do this without you. Okay, now it's important that we keep his head lower than his body. So take my bag and put it under his legs. You still up for this, Rosie? I'll do my best. He's a mess, eh? You want to come and watch this, big man? Not now, thank you. What do we do, Dad? Uh, come to this end. Monitor his pulse for me, like I've showed you. All right. Well, it's imperative I stop this bleeding. Uh, everything else is immaterial. He'll die. Hold this up for me, will you? Keep checking that it's working. Well, I did... This is impossible. I, I've got to get him to a hospital. No news from the ambulance. Could be hours. Right. Come on, come on. Come on, get this pressure on. We couldn't work any harder and just look at us. Danny can't sort the animals out and I can't even organise a blimmin' wedding reception. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Oh, it'll be all right. It won't be all right, Evan. I'm the one that's got to tell a newly married couple that I've just ruined their wedding day. They're going to be devastated. Can't feel his pulse, Dad. Come on, Ty. <coughs> Don't you do it, Hey. Well, welcome back, Tate. Just keep still. I I've patched you up as best I can. The ambulance is on its way. No, I'm really sorry. The string quartet is cancelled because their instruments have been stolen. The Nyala has eaten all your flowers and we've had a slight financial disagreement with the company supplying your champagne. Please don't let it be them there early. That's not a winning car. It might be if we've organised it. My daughter, Tati. Oh. Mama. Come down, sis. Oh, that's not a fig. I'm big as. Yeah, Mama, Mama, yes. Hi, Noms has told me all about your degree. Congratulations. Thank you. Regal tells me you needed some help. Oh, that's really sweet of him, but um, I think we're beyond help. Come on, Regal. <laughs> I was desperate. I needed the money. You know how it is. I know how it is. I love this place. It was always my dream. That's what Duplessis says. Africa's full of broken dreams. <laughs> he's, he's a mad old bugger. <laughs> Take no notice of him. <laughs> I've had enough of your time. Now, sort of. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
The people bring their animals to Denny, and he always helps, never takes money. And your daughter is stunning. She is. Are you home for good now, Sandy? Yeah, I think so. Well, my mom wants me to go to the city and get a job, but I want to be close to my family. She wants to be near him. That's the truth. How's it, folks? I met him. Hi. Hi. I'm Sarah Trevanian. New barman. Mrs. Trevanian, this is Max, an old friend of mine. I gave him a ring. <laughs> this all for us? Yep. I don't believe it. <laughs> Thank you so much. How was your first day back? Oh, boring. Do you still drink the horrible stuff? Cane and cola. Oh, I've been known to have a sip or two. Can I join you in a bucket? It'll be my pleasure. Stop the jeep! Stop the jeep! What? I was going to report Tate for not having the correct hunting permit. Yeah, that serves him right. Well, it's not very manly, though, is it? If only there were another way. All right, spit it out. What's on your mind? <laughs> Dad! <laughs> My damn, the canvas Well, I could report him for hunting protected species. Yeah. Instead, I'm going to allow some of his animals to come and stay with us at Rapid's Den. A sort of tax on bad behaviour. Exactly. <laughs> Everything all right? Everything's fine. Now you're here. Congratulations.
dislocated my shoulder. Stay here as long as you are. Oh, thanks, Dad. Go! <laughs> oh, Needs a drink. It's much like any other, really. Oh. <laughs> Max! Oh, I still can't believe this. <laughs> Claire just said we made a wonderful day perfect. Oh, Nomsa du Plessis fancies a dance. <laughs> he does not. <laughs> What's the matter? Mr. Tate. What about Mr. Tate? He died in the ambulance. Oh, shit. How's he doing? All right, I think. You do know he's a valuable business asset, and not a cute leopard called Sydney, don't you? Today I had a man's life in my hands, literally in my hands. It wasn't your fault, you know that. I saw it in Tate's eyes, and he saw it in mine. Saw so what? Drunk on this place, Sarah. It's in my blood. Like an illness. An incredible, incurable illness. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? You haven't kept up your payments. You put that back while I blow your bloody head off. Right, this is a big deal for us, everyone. Vincent, your home. Concentrate on the right bird, Danny. That bird travels better than we do. Has he spent a long time in captivity? Oh, well, most of his life. Wow. Very funny. What's it to be, Danny? We'll be releasing this afternoon. Vulture. In a bad way. You were right. I should never have been next to you. You're anything you like it's doing. Next on ITV1, the first in a new series. We've got a suspect, Satch. A perfect family is torn apart by tragedy. Written by Linda LaPlante. Trial and Retribution. Next. <laughs>